Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nathan here and today I have come with a very amazing problem. It's a very unique concept and it is Young's Modulus and Potential Functions. It's an original problem. Guys, this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together and name of this problem is Young's Modulus and Potential Functions. Guys, my current courses on Unacademy are course of INPHO Foundation and Fajay Advanced 2023, Emerge Fajay 2023 and uh, currently in INPHO uh, circular motion and work power energy will be starting and in emerge uh, kinematics uh, we will be starting for uh, 2023 advanced problem solving course for j advanced 2021 is uh, going on currently we are in the last phase of it and uh, a new phase will be starting from 15th of july and uh, uh, another advanced course for JE 2022 in Hindi it is going on and uh, we are about to finish uh, current electricity and we will be starting magnetism very soon. And another parallel course of uh, rotational mechanics is uh, going on. It started on first week of June. So guys you can access my theory courses which are of advanced plus plus levels for boosting your J preparation. You can unlock these courses on uh, Unacademy using my code Nathan sir. And for more info, you can visit www.unacademy.com. And guys, trust me, physics will never be the same again. So here is a statement of this problem. In a solid substance, the interatomic forces uh, FR, which is given as a function of R or the corresponding potential energy UR, uh, which is also a function of R is given. The radius of atom in the solid is A0. And there are certain assumptions. Assume that the solid is deformed within the limit of elasticity and it can also be assumed that the atoms in solid are connected by tiny linear springs. Uh, this is what we normally assume at plus two levels. And find the approximate value of Young's modulus of solid uh, substance. You can use the potential energy function as UR is equal to A L N R uh, plus B by R. So concept wise you can see in a solid atoms are arranged in regular pattern and they are bounded by interatomic forces. Under elasticity assumption these atoms can be assumed to be connected within the <coughs> with the linear tiny springs. The force constant of these springs can be calculated from potential energy or uh, uh, potential energy or force graphs. So this part we have done in uh, uh, simple harmonic motion topic also and uh, uh, by using Taylor's theorem but uh, here I am going to uh, give you another idea for very small disturbances these atoms will be performing uh, SHM because we are assuming they are linear springs so their motion can be assumed that when we are deforming them from uh, equilibrium by a small distance uh, they will be performing uh, SHM and for SHM the potential energy graph must be a parabola so whatever graph is given to us we can approximate it to a nearest parabola near the equilibrium point. This is the first point because uh, we are treating this as we are approximating this as a simple harmonic motion and for simple harmonic motion always potential graph will be a parabola. So uh, for any general function of u and uh, f this uh, concept remains same. So at equilibrium here, at equilibrium we can calculate by putting force equal to zero. So let's say we know the equilibrium and in equilibrium potential energy value is u naught. So I can write uh, this equation of this parabola as ur is equal to value at uh, equilibrium plus b times some constant I'm using r minus r equilibrium whole square. It is like shifting of origin. I'm writing this uh, parabola as y minus uh, k is equal to some x minus uh, some constant times x minus h whole square. That logic I'm using here. So if I differentiate this, I'm going to get uh, this force value here minus du by dr, which is going to come as minus 2b times r minus r equilibrium. Uh, this R minus R equilibrium is uh, <clears throat> the displacement from uh, equilibrium because once we displace it slightly, so this distance is going to be R minus R equilibrium, which is the displacement from uh, mean position. And you can see here, we are going to get, this is somewhat similar to SHM equation. So I can write it as minus KX. So K equilibrium, I can calculate as 2B. So force constant for uh, such springs with having a given uh, potential function, we can uh, write it as it will have the value of 2B. And also near this equilibrium point, uh, this parabola and uh, this curve, actual potential function, they are touching. So uh, their radius of curvatures must be same. Uh, 
so radius of curvature formula is uh, 1 plus uh, d2 du by dr whole square to the power 3 by 2 divided by d2 u by dr square so you can see here at equilibrium this term is zero so radius of curvature of both are same means their double derivative are going to be same and this is the same result which we get by using taylor's theorem so i am not using that i'm just trying to use uh, uh, the concepts of plus 2 only so d2 u by dr square of parabola and the actual ur function must be same at r equal to r equilibrium so when we are approximating it with the nearest parabola this condition will hold true so k equilibrium here i can write as 2b because you can see double derivative in this case if uh, one more time uh, if i differentiate this i am going to get this as 2b so i can write here k equivalent as 2b and which is nothing but d2 u by dr square of at r equilibrium so this is the concept you must remember because uh, if any potential function is given time period is equal to 2 pi under root of m by k k value i can write u double dash at equilibrium this is the same result which we get by using taylor's theorem so in shm it's quite handy and uh, similarly for a rod of young's modulus y if we are giving a displacement of x and we are converting this into a a spring of equilibrium k equilibrium or k equivalent so when on application of force this rod is displaced by or this end is displaced by a distance x so i can write strain as x by l and the corresponding stress i can write f f by a so young's modulus in this situation i'll be writing it as uh, stress by strain so from here i am getting this uh, f value as y a by l times x now this is uh, resembling uh, the spring uh, force uh, expression y is equal f is equal to kx so this k equivalent here i can write for a rod for a rod and this is y a by l even this result is very very helpful for uh, fast solving so uh, i'll recommend you to remember both the results it will uh, make your life easy and now let's go to the actual model of uh, this atom in the solid these atoms are arranged and uh, let's say in equilibrium distance between them is uh, r equal r equilibrium and uh, well, we are considering only one layer of atoms otherwise we will be getting series and parallel connection of uh, springs so if i take any one unit of it i can treat this as uh, k equivalent actually they are connected they are experiencing that interatomic force and that attraction force is responsible here i'm assuming uh, that force is replaced by a spring and we are assuming this spring also generates similar type of force and we are dealing only for small oscillations so this k equilibrium i can write y a by l l here is the distance between these two neighboring atoms which is r equivalent so this value must be equal to double derivative of potential energy at r equal uh, r equilibrium so when i rearrange these terms uh, young's modulus uh, result i can obtain it is mod of d2u by dr square at equilibrium times r equilibrium divided by cross section area which is pi a naught square so i hope guys uh, you will remember this result i'll recommend you to remember this result for fast calculations it's a general result always valid and similarly since d2u by dr square is nothing but df by dr at r equilibrium so young's modulus of solid can be approximated as uh, mod of df by dr at r equilibrium times r equilibrium divided by pi a naught square now uh, the given function was a l n r plus b r so let's differentiate and we will get du by dr for equilibrium du by dr is zero so we are getting r equilibrium as b by a where a and b are some positive constants now here i can write double derivative of it uh, one more time i'll differentiate it i'll be getting minus a by r square plus 2b by r cube so if i substitute this r equilibrium in this expression i'll be getting uh, double derivative of potential energy at equilibrium which will uh, if you calculate it it will come as a cube by b square so once i know this value just uh, we will uh, substitute these values in this formula and we will get the uh, young's modulus so here uh, y is a cube by b square and our equilibrium is b by a divided by pi a naught square so our correct answer is going to be 
a square by b times 1 by pi r square this is going to be the final answer for this problem i hope you have enjoyed this problem it's a quite unique problem and uh, there will be a lot of learning in this so if this is the case please leave a like share this video with others and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem and concept thank you thanks for watching it